Welcome to the Daniel Den, full of lions, some politicians, and more lions. And I've got a terrific collection of uh, lion cartoons by other people and pictures of lions and stuffed lions and singing lions. It's where Charlie Daniel calls home. You might know him from his time as an editorial cartoonist here in East Tennessee, first for the Knoxville Journal and now with the Knoxville News Sentinel, a combined 54 years. When I look back on some of my earlier stuff, I'd say, this is awful. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Who would, why would they hire this guy? So where did it all begin? Weldon, North Carolina. Went to Weldon grade schools and uh, met my childhood sweetheart in the second grade. And they are still together to this day. In high school, Charlie would doodle quite a bit. I had a comic strip in, in high school I called Dick Daniel, which was a complete ripoff of uh, Dick Tracy. He started early, but that wasn't exactly what he wanted to be when he grew up. My goal in life was to become a, a, an All-American football player. I got a scholarship to play at the University of North Carolina. But he enlisted in the Marine Corps, served his country, and then went back to UNC and back to doodling. The college newspaper even took notice. The Daily Tar Heel said, if you submit cartoons, we'll run them and pay you 50 cents for cartoons. He then switched majors to political science and dove in head first. Sent off uh, letters to uh, newspapers uh, asking for a job. And uh, I think I sent off 48 letters and I got uh, one maybe and one positive reply. And it was from Guy Smith at the Knoxville Journal. Senator Al Gore Sr. was here, and, and Guy Smith looked on Al Gore Sr. in some disfavor, and so uh, I drew a bunch of uh, unflattering uh, Albert Gore cartoons and, and submitted them, and, and Guy Smith said, come on, you can, <laughs> you can work here. And he did. When I first came here, you know, uh, uh, from Chapel Hill, and. I was saying, you know, I just can't sit here and draw uh, Albert Gore cartoons. There's got to be something else, you know, going on. And I, I turn on the television and, and there's Kaz Walker. And I don't want none of these uh, so-called experts are playing with my health. And I said, uh, thank you. He makes his process sound simple. I doodle a lot and, and then uh, one thing just kind of leads to another. That's the favorite part, I think, is, is when, when the idea comes to you. And he has many ideas in that brain of his. He even writes poetry. Mr. Potato Head is dead. He was out of whole born and bred, but he died southern fried. Charlie says he was born with his sense of humor. It runs in the family. I never realized I was funny until I got away from the family. Charlie Daniel drawing characters of all kinds, but really, he is the character. The whole point of the, the, of the cartoon is, is to make somebody uh, think about an, an issue or something. You know, it doesn't matter to me if they agree or disagree. That's not the point. It's, it's the uh, thinking part. One of your stories. There's no place like this one. Abby Ham, 10 News. Truly one in a million. He's a good one. Mm, Sentinel man. said Daniel's last day is going to be February the 1st. He just had such a way in really yep. getting people's attention. And I love what he said, getting people to think. Absolutely. Didn't really care how they felt either way, but just uh, encouraging folks to look at issues and look at all really think about them. Oh, all of those Goodness gracious. drawings. Just incredible. And he's just a great guy. He really is. <laughs> he's something else. Well, we wish him all the best. Yes, and we'll we have do. to have him here. Um, and catch up with him. Yep. Hopefully we can make that happen. Mm -hmm.